What's up guys, so with the approaching Dorian coming, uh, I thought I'd make a quick um, quick video for you guys, just for the hell of it. Um, there's tons of topics I can actually approach, but I just don't bother because it's usually about other YouTubers and um, just stuff that blows my mind about you know how some channels will grow like just so quick. And then you just got people like me who had tried for so long that it just didn't work out and then you're like you're sort of like devastated but I mean I'm over it now I mean now it's like the ambition is just dead so but it's still fun to make these little videos for you guys so I bought something called wicked whiskey steak sauce from volcanic peppers and I highly suggest you run out well you can't run out you gotta order it but it's only eight dollars so don't bother with the fast shipping it the first you know, regular mail, whatever, still came in three days anyways. So that was, um, I uh, marinated some chicken with it, with Ken's uh, Italian steak sauce, I mean, bleh, Italian dressing, um, and then, you know, with some additional seasonings, and then I uh, made sure that I put the hot sauce, well, it's not really that hot, but it's, you know, still volcanic peppers. Um, the Wicked Whiskey on top of each chicken tender, and then, you know after like an hour I would flip it and then took about the first time I cooked it it was two hours and yeah it was more tender at two hours and then the second batch was like an hour and 45 minutes so there was a little discrepancy on um, the melt in your mouth but they both tasted the exact same um, the two hour mark gave me chicken that was basically almost like and this isn't bad but it's like it was almost literally like just falling apart like like almost mush chicken but but I, but I didn't mind because it was still tasted great and it was in and, and you know the crock pot has a top on it so it's it's circulating the flavors and it's you know I mean you could cook it slower for longer if you really wanted to but I don't like to mess around with chicken so I like to just make sure that it's the same degrees that it w as it would be in the oven um, except you know it doesn't get quite as hot in a crock pot because uh, there's no like it's not metal heating it's like only on the very bottom is the heat and then it rises and then it gathers some steam so that's you know that's simple stuff like that and um, yeah that's about it um, not many updates um, I, did, I did see ready or not uh, that was like a horror comedy movie. I wish it was a little bit more horror. Um, definitely great gore. Um, had some nice suspenseful moments. And the the idea was pretty dang original. I will go go to say that. Um, and even if it's not one hundred percent original, it's it was a more you know it was original enough to where like I wasn't thinking this or that. You know, too many. I wasn't thinking too many negative things while I was actually while I was watching it. Um, of course, the lead female was fantastic in it, and um, she's almost too good at being funny, because, like, there's certain scenes where I just wish it was a little bit more serious, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I was going to do another video of my system pounding away, because, uh, I mean, let, let's, let's talk worst case scenario is my place gets trashed because nobody wanted to give me any wood, and I don't have a truck. Um, plus, do I really have mine for wood? No. So, this is just like, if my system, if it gets like wet in here, I mean, my system will be pretty safe, actually. It's where it is right now, unless, like, literally the whole place got busted up. Then it would, that would that'd be a big problem. But, um, yeah, I'm not all about that, like, hottest chili pepper stuff or whatever. This is just basic mild chili peppers the heat is right at a medium um it is hotter when you if you just taste it you might say like, oh i'm not gonna like this this is this is a little too spicy but no it's not actually can it, it will it dissipates really fast and um, i did actually get a pizza the other day from blaze which i love blaze blaze pizza it's definitely just absolutely just i see no reason to go to pizza hut because now you have to spend like a like a certain amount of money at Pizza Hut before they'll even deliver to you. So it's not even it's not even like, hey, I'm getting a good cheap pizza. 
then they gotta deliver it. So, and it's like it's like it was like twenty some dollars. Like they won't deliver it to you unless you've spent some twenty some dollars on ridiculous. So so in that case, I think like an Uber Eats or whatever would be cheaper to buy a Pizza Hut pizza rather than have them deliver it. What else? Yeah, I did. I got my final flask of Crown XO. Just a quick note on how good this is, is that you can basically sip it without a chaser of anything. <clears throat> it's that smooth. It only gives you a, a hint of alcohol. It's, it's really strange. Even though it's the same proof, it's made so well that um, you get a lot of caramel taste. And... Um, I think they have one higher than this, but I can't really remember the name, but this actually originally was the highest um, quality, but it was called something else. Like it was called flask number something, but this this replaced that. So if there's anything high, like I, try, I even tried the crown, there's like a reserve, which is more expensive. I didn't, I didn't even like it at all. Um, and then there's like, uh, then there's like a crown X. Okay, that this is the one I think's the highest is the XR. It's like extremely rare or something. I don't know. But all right, guys, I'm just gonna s hopefully get some sleep. I mean, I, I know my old ball and chain wants to leave. I think she wants to go west, but. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of, like, hotels that are going to be open. Plus, I'd have to leave my cats here, which I don't really give a shit about because that's the least of my worries right now. I got big problems. I haven't paid the power or cable. Um, I haven't paid rent, and the rent lady didn't even send me an email. Uh, usually, it's the 2nd of September, and she hasn't texted me, like, and she always does. So, probably she's just doing it not to... Either she's preparing for stuff herself or, you know, it is what it is, but I don't have rent for this month. I'm literally living on, like, borrowed time for this month. So, it's been a journey, um, and I will bid you farewell. Adieu.